Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your three loaders into the mad high load of flows is always just swiftening. Level 22 boxes man and give the swag 2013 and all around neutral guy. This is another episode of me wandering around Megaton. There's a woman's restroom. I am so tempted to go in. I shouldn't. Hello, Manya. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. What's the world around town? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. <laughs> I had some questions about this town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Thank you. Uh, what's this place made of? Long ago, before the war, there used to be machines they were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk, you just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. So why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. There are a lot of parts here for just one machine. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Huh. Why well, build the walls out of some old flying machine, except for, you know, it being very practical? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Yeah. I had other questions about Megaton. Sure thing, hon. How did the town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Huh. Why did they build the walls other than holding off the raiders and bringing out dust storms and stuff? Well, the raiders for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really helped keep the wolves at bay. No. Oh. Uh, so, it was just a collection of traders in the beginning? Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while, 
That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. <laughs> so anyone can live in Megaton. No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. And I got the citizenship just for free. I mean, just for uh, disabling a bomb. That's enough of a history you lesson. Say so, honey. Thank you. Uh, how did you get here? I was born here, actually, just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland has worked for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Yeah, the radio really rots your brains out. Where did everyone else come from? Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho? Well, let's just say that men can change. Was, I hope. Was Jericho the guy who dropped a lot of F-bombs? I kind of remember seeing a screenshot of someone dropping a lot of F-bombs. Who is in charge around here? Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about. Or plan. Tell me about Colin Moriarty. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Then about the Lucas Sims. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have <laughs> much to complain about. Ah, you don't like him being a cowboy? I think I get the picture. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? I want to know everything, uh, but I don't want to talk about Megaton well, anymore. you come on back any time you want to hear more. I have to go now. Send Nathan home if you see him. All right, um... Nathan, you mustn't far away. Nathan, go home! Nathan! Nathan, go home! Nathan! Have you seen my wife anywhere around here? Yes. She told you to go home. God bless the Enclave. God bless the Enclave. I mean, no, go home. I really hope That's some... Um, I must, but... Oh, sure. Hello, Hi. Maggie. I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. All right. Bye. She is supposed to go. Who takes care of you? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. What do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Oh, that's sweet. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, mister. Ah, I guess you're Sims boy, eh? Hi there, mister. You need something? Uh, yes, I need to fix the leaks. 
And that's the common house. Uh, here's a leak. We're attempt to fix it. Good. There's only one left, and I guess it's uh, somewhere around the hill as well. So here's a pipe, and maybe if I follow it, I might find the last leak. Alternative, I could find Sims's house. Wait. Or are this saloon is locked? Or is this just not the main entrance? Yes, that's an entirely plausible explanation as well. Yes, the armory, that's a very hard lock. I suppose they don't want me in the armory, I no. Sims! Let us prepare for war! War, war, war! War, war, war! War is my friend! Alright, that's the men's restroom. And what do we have here? Ah, the actual saloon entrance. Nathan again? And there's a Megaton Settler. Do I want to go into the saloon? I probably have to go to the saloon, but I want to fix the water problem first. So, well, let's see. I wonder if there's any toilet loot. Probably, it's why I'm not, I'm not going in for the toilet loot. Because I want to find everything else first. Now, that's a great side supply, which is also a place I should probably go and visit. And, um, mm, why am I on a roof? Ah. Alright, um, let's investigate the middle of the crater then to see if we can find the last leak down here somewhere. Because it might as well be somewhere around here. Shall be That's the Church of the Adam. Burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each uh -huh. of us shall give birth to uh, I think one of the leaks was on this pipe, right? So the likelihood of another leak being right around it is father to a trillion civilization. Is small problem. Okay, whose house was this? That's Lucy West's house. Do I know them? No, I don't think I do. But I have heard the name Lucy, so they're probably the Lucy whose name I've heard. Unless I'm talking about thinking about Elfin Light, which in case it's probably not the Lucy I'm thinking of. I beg of you to use me as your Where are you? Guide to your brilliance. Divide each particle. Where are you, you little leaky leaky dicky dinky dick? If I'm stuck here, I, that won't be nice. No, but I'm not. Good. To be fair, if I had, were designing that, I would have left that bit completely inaccessible. Oh, but that would. Hmm. Except if it had looked terrible and nonsensical, in which case I would have had to readjust my plans. Hmm. Where's that last pipe still? I need to find the leak. I need to mend it. I need to mend everything. Because I am under the and I mend things. Apparently. It's actually more common for me to break everything, but um I mend things. Honest honestly, I mend things. That's is the oh here's the great side supply again. Ah ah ah! I see a leak. There we go. Fix it. Oh, now what? Where is this? The men, women, and children of the earth. No, it's on the roof of the church. Alright, uh, let's go to the water processing plant, clear up that issue, and... Uh, well, no, do things. That would probably work. Things are pretty good. Hello, you still here? Good. Hey! Well, huh? Yeah, what is it? The pipes are all fixed. Well, I'll be! The pressure's up in the plant! It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. 
But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Mm, sounds good to me. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Yep, sure. There are plenty of places I have been where there are some around. Is there anything? Oh, this is a ruined book. Of course I'm going to loot his house for, well, search his house anyway. Because things get with a stolen tag, don't they, in the more recent Bethesda games. I don't really want to go around steaming random things. Unless I can consume them immediately. I suppose not then. Oh, I do want to find Simpsons home, by the way. Because there is apparently a bobblehead there. So I witnessed from something. Let's check the supplies. Supplies! I'm home! I heard the mess I'm then. just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Alright. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Mm. Sure, why not? Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or... Whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> How do you people live out here? I want to find the food dispenser anywhere. <laughs> oh, the outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Mm, yeah, uh, What? what is this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Yeah. Okay, uh... Sure, sounds like a great idea. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? What's this about? Let's hear more about the landmines. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, uh, that sounds kind of unhealthy. I'll head, <laughs> I'll head into the minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. 
And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Exactly. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. <laughs> and some limbs lost, probably. A few times, at least. Uh... Yeah, I hear you're the person to see about buying stuff for my house. Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Ooh. Can you tell me what items do you? Of course I can. Which one in particular interests you? Tell me about the... Uh, huh? My first infirmary? If you're wounded, or you've hurt one of your limbs badly, this setup will allow you to heal it up as good as any other wasteland doctor. But so does a nap. Well, oh, um, tell me about my first laboratory. This setup is great for experimenting and coming up with all sorts of useful concoctions. It can also be used to get rid of any horrible addictions you may have from tasting your results. Alright, tell me about the jukebox. If you feel like filling your place with a whole bunch of music, switch this beautiful pre-war antique on. Hmm. Tell me about the Nuka-Cola machine. One push of a button, and you can get your hands on an ice-cold Nuka-Cola. How nice. Tell me about the workbench. If you feel like tinkering and want to build some custom gizmos, this setup will help you do it. Fun. That's enough about the items. Sounds good. Tell me about your themes. Some people don't like living in a boring old house. Purchase a theme from me, and I use all of my design abilities to set your place up in the manner you request. You can choose from the Vault, Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or Pre-War Themes. Love Machine. Feeling a bit anxious, are we? Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Actually, let's pick, let me pick another theme. Go right ahead. Love machine. Let me ask about something else. Sure. Um, enough about the house. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Uh, let me see what you have for sale at first. What do you need? Stuff. I need a lot of stuff. Do you have all the stuff I need? Uh, an, ar an armored vault 101 jumpsuit. Ooh, that sounds pretty... Yeah, that, sounds, that looks pretty good. I'll keep that as an option, certainly. It looks very good. When is my combat armor breaking anyway? Soon. So yeah, might have to switch. Oh, uh, wow! These house things are really, really expensive, aren't they? Yeah. That's actually not all that surprising, but I suppose I should put more points into bartering. Anyway, I don't really have anything to sell, I don't think so. Oh. Uh, can I ask about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Everything. How's the book coming? I'm still working out the kinks in the first chapter. I'm calling it Survive. It's about dealing with the day-to-day -day needs out there. Finding food and water, avoiding hazards like radiation and traps, that sort of stuff. All right. Oh, I'll end the episode here because it's getting a bit long. See ya. I'll resume next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.